Do you remember what the feeling was around Manchester United last December, January? Lots of calls for Ogunna Solskjaer to be sacked. Huge pressure on Solskjaer for his job. Tough fixtures, lots of fixtures coming up. Does that sound familiar? Well, United are in exactly the same position in this December and January. And for me, it's, it's an opportunity that Ole Gunnar Solskjaer has to take to show that progress has been made in the last 12 months because progress is what United fans really need to see at this moment. And that is what this video is about, looking at the fixtures we've got coming up, the opportunities we've got coming up, the question marks, what's happening in January. It's taking a look forward instead of taking a look back because I think that's what we all have to do right now because if we can get through December with the right results, we'll head into January in a fantastic position. Make sure you subscribe to United People's TV before I start this video. Let's get into it. That draw against City in the derby, the exit to Leipzig in the Champions League, it's not been the best couple of weeks for United in terms of the football we're watching and the results that we are getting. But as I said, December offers United an opportunity to really to change that narrative. And results change narratives. And if you look at United's fixtures that are coming up, there are some tough games. Sheffield United is not one of them. That's got to be three points for United. I'm not even sure they're off one point yet. Then we've got Leeds at home. That's going to be a great game. Going to be a tough game. Bielsa's Leeds are very, very difficult. They've got Everton in the League Cup. It's a League Cup, so it doesn't really matter too much. But it would always be good to continue going in the Cup. And a trophy would really help Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. Then you've got Leicester away. Now that's going to be difficult on Boxing Day. And then you've got Wolves on the 29th at home. All five of those games are tough in their own ways. I, I, Sheffield United, we can't see anything but three points there. Dean Henderson, maybe Solskjaer will start him against his former club he was on loan to. I'm not sure if he will. But Sheffield's got to be three points. Leeds is going to be difficult as hell. I don't know what to expect really with the Leeds game, if I'm being completely honest, because Bielsa's Leeds, they lost to West Ham. But then if you look at how they played against, say, Liverpool in the opening day of the season, they're a hard team. And it will be an interesting game. And obviously the Leeds United... And United, rivalry is back in the Premier League. It's a shame there are not going to be no fans there because that will be a tasty, tasty atmosphere. But that's going to be difficult. And then we've got Everton in the League Cup. Doesn't really matter too much, but it's all about momentum. So if you can continue it at that point, it'll be very good. And then Leicester is going to be surely the toughest of the five fixtures. Leicester away, don't like it. See what happens on Boxing Day. And then we've got Wolves. The Wolves haven't been the Wolves that they were last season. It's, well, they sold Jota and Doherty, and they haven't really replaced them properly. But it's still going to be tough. So United need to make sure that we come through these games and head into January on the back of a different narrative. That is hugely important for Solskjaer. And something that's important for me is thanking eToro for sponsoring this video and sponsoring United People's TV during December, helping during this pandemic it really is eToro if you haven't already used their platform head over there and use the copy trader tool it's a fantastic tool to help you with your first steps into investment there is a link in the description go over there and use that copy trader tool it's a fantastic tool that allows you to follow the investments of the best performing investors on the eToro platform very simple very straightforward to use all you've got to do is follow that link in the description i'd encourage you to do it I do it myself, and it's good. So make sure you head over there and check it out yourself. But as I said, 12 months ago, the, the narrative around United in December and January wasn't good for Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, was it? You remember that pressure. You remember us all wanting Bruno Fernandes in the summer. It not happening. All wanting Bruno Fernandes in January. It only happened right at the end of January. And it wasn't until Bruno came in that that, that switch happened at United, and we went on a hell of a run of form. Could we do it again in this January? Maybe. Amadiallo's coming in, the 40 million, 40 million pounds, 18-year-old winger from... Jeez, that was hard to say. Anyway, Diallo, 18-year-old winger from Atalanta. Could he have the sort of impact that Bruno had? No. I don't think many or any other players could have had the same sort of impact at United that Bruno's had. But Diallo coming in as a proper right winger, it's a big problem position for United in attack. Huge problem position. So he could come in and have a massive impact straight away. And that would be brilliant if he could come into the club when the club's in a good position. Because I don't even know where we are in the league right now. Maybe I think I've saw eighth. Anyway, but there's a huge amount of swing in the Premier League at the moment from third and fourth the whole way down to tenth. 
It's very, very close. It's very, very tight. And that's what I mean about the narrative, because the narrative can completely change if we get back-to-back -back wins. We, we, you know, we beat Leeds. You know, we beat Sheffield United that we have to. Beat Everton in the League Cup. Continue down there. Three points against Leicester. Three points against Wolves. It's not going to happen. We're not going to beat everybody. But it's all about changing the narrative with United at the moment. Because if the, the margins are very small at the moment. Now, I wouldn't say that we've seen too much progress in terms of the football. Overall, the consistency of the football. The progress isn't there. And that's really where the, the main progress has to be. From one week to another for the same level of performance to come in. Regardless of the opposition. That's what... That's what United and Solskjaer have to do. That's what we have to achieve that we just haven't achieved so far. And, and, and as I said, look, I remember last December and January. And at one point, I, I really felt like I was on the verge of just sort of giving up with United and Solskjaer. I put my hands up. I think a lot of us were. But we didn't. Solskjaer, United didn't. And look at the, the surge that we had. When Bruno came in, because lo and behold, you signed the right players. They have the right impact at your club. Now, fingers crossed Diallo can do a, have a, a similar sort of upward trajectory straight away at United. But the best way to make that possible is for United to be heading into January in good form. And that means these four or five fixtures that are coming up, we have to negotiate them properly. It's about squad rotation because the games are going to come thick and fast every few days. It's not about doing that same start at 11. No subs because the game will be tired. The team will be tired and the performance will be tired. And that's down to Ole Gunnar Solskjaer and his man management of switching players in and out at the right times to keep United's energy up. And especially when you've got Leeds United slap bang in between all of those fixtures. Rotation is going to be key. And I just want to see United just put a, put a, put a little... This, this is the perfect opportunity to put a run together. Because Sheffield United is winnable. Has to be considered winnable. Not winnable. Has to be considered a banker. They've been so poor this year that we can't, we can't be the team that allows Sheffield United to come back to life. We've got to make sure that they stay down. And that's down to United and going into the game with no complacency and going into the game expecting those three points. We have to do it. Leeds is going to be tough. There are all, all the other games are going to be tough, but as I said, now really is the opportunity for United to change the narrative. And it, it, it's essential that we do that for progress to really be made. Because if you look at what's going on with Arsenal and Arteta, it's all falling apart there. If you look at what's going on with Chelsea and Lampard, they've had a decent season, but they're losing to Everton in their last game. So they're having troubles. Liverpool is struggling and they will struggle all year because they're having injuries. It's hard to win the Premier League. It's even harder to maintain it. City, as we saw the other day, come on, that wasn't City. That wasn't the City that, have, let's be honest, dominated United for the last five, six years. No, they were awful. United were awful. There's no t Spurs is probably the one you would go to, but then they drew against Crystal Palace. There's no team in this league at the moment that is just blowing everybody out of the water. That is saying, oh, they're definitely going to win the league. It really, genuinely is up for grabs for anybody who wants to put a run of results together. And United just need to get that run of results because we've been capable of brilliant performances this season. 5-0 against Leipzig at home. Nobody would have seen that coming. But we've been capable of horrendous performances this season. Starting off with Crystal Palace. There's plenty you can go to. Arsenal at home is one that sticks out. Leipzig away is one that sticks out as well. United just need to find that Goddamn consistency. That's the thing that's eluded us all throughout Solskjaer's reign. But if we're looking at progress compared to where we were 12 months ago to where we are now, United have the opportunity to... This is a great song that's going on in the background. I have no, no idea what that is. <laughs> but anyway, United have the opportunity to change that narrative and head into January and head into Diallo coming into the club, putting us in a good position. Having us inside the top four after a good run of results. That's the sort of situation. You bring Diallo into that team, he can have a real impact. Bring Diallo into a team which is really struggling down in the dumps and pressure on Solskjaer, we're going to struggle. And that's not the situation I want to bring an 18-year-old potential superstar signing if he's in the right conditions and he can grow. 
giving the best platform the best opportunity, and that means United have to perform. Let me know how you're feeling going into these fixtures. Because for me, it's full of trepidation, but full of opportunity as well. And that's what United need to do, is take the goddamn opportunities. Let me know what you think about that in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe to United People's TV if you're new. And that really, really, really is an annoying, annoying song going on. Thank <laughs> you.